Hey guys, Mark here. Today I'll be doing a how-to video specifically talking about how to customize your Samsung Galaxy S3 or any Android smartphone for that matter. I'll be talking about how you can transform your user interface into something that is more custom tailored to your liking. Since the Galaxy S3 is the model unit here, we will be, we will be using Samsung's TouchWiz Nature UX as the example. TouchWiz Nature UX, for those who are new to Samsung and Android, is not the stock appearance, stock look for Android. Samsung has incorporated their own user interface into their smartphones, much like how, how HTC has their Sense 4.0 and LG, Motorola have their own custom user interface. Although Motorola's custom UI is the closest uh, in appearance to the stock build of Android, um, some love it, some hate it. Now let's move on to how you can customize your Samsung Galaxy S3 or your Android device. First off, you need to search around Google's Play Store and see what kind of apps are out there, what kind of launchers are available. I personally have a couple that I like a lot. Uh, one in particular that I find is the total package for ultimate customizing experience on any Android device. Let's start off by talking about Go Launcher, which is developed by the guys at GoDev. They have a variety of themes available by third parties as well as themes that kind of mimic stock Android builds. Go Developer has also developed Go SMS and Go Locker, which are two very customizable apps that complete the quote unquote Go experience and is the top of my list of recommended launchers. There are of course users who want a simple look and a very bare boned approach in handling their mobile use and they have themes and launchers that cater to those folks as well. Uh, those who are looking for a stock look of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich or Android 4.1 other known as Jelly Bean, there are options out there as well. Apex Launcher which gives you the appearance of stock Android 4.0 and 4.1. However, developers are now beginning to hop on the Apex bandwagon and they're actually developing apps for the platform so I recommend keeping tabs on these themes and the developers that are doing it because I think a lot of themes will be coming up for the for the Apex Launcher and it's going to be pretty quick how uh, these things will come from Go Launcher to Apex. Certainly giving people some options to choose from in terms of which launchers to use. Next is Lo uh, Nova Launcher. It also it's also another launcher that gives you the look of stock Android and has the same core functions as the Apex Launcher with some minor differences in terms of features. The differences when it comes to features will all be listed on the Apex and Nova pages. If not, you gotta experience it for yourself because this is very uh, personal. A lot of people have certain things that they like and they have pet peeves with other things. So it's something that I recommend you guys do. Uh, just test it and if you don't like it, delete it, uninstall it. It's all good. I would also like to mention that many Go Launcher themes also work with Apex and Nova, so you can kind of cr do a cross platform test and see which is the best for your device since there are single cores, dual cores, and quad core phones out there these days. So, which, whichever works the best for your device, I say go for it. I hope this video has given you guys a good jump start in customizing your device. Uh, with S3 and whatever Android phone you are coming from. If you found this video useful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really helps us out. Uh, leave your comments down below, questions, everything, you know, the normal stuff. Talk to you guys later. Cheers.